This video shows and walks through a direct proof example in which we are trying to show that this equality is correct, meaning the sigma k times k factorial, which basically when you expand it, it means this summation, uh, 2 times 2 factorial plus 3 times 3 factorial plus 4 times 4 factorial up to n times n factorial, is just simply uh, equal to n plus 1 factorial minus 2, basically it can be represented with this in the form of this compact formula. How is this possible and can we do it without using mathematical induction which is of course doable but uh, without mathematical induction there is a little trick that we can use to prove this very quickly so take a look at uh, this scenario take this component the last one and rewrite it in this way n plus one times n factorial so basically what i did is i added additional n factorial to this component so that then i can write n plus 1 times n factorial, but then I have to subtract this additional component. So then this whole thing is just simply equal to what you have here. Okay, the same thing that you do is for this guy. So add to this set uh, just another n minus 1 factorial. So add n minus 1 factorial, and of course you have to subtract it, but the thing is since you add n minus 1 factorial to this package or to this term, then you increase the multiplier by 1, so therefore what you're doing is you're saying n times, so coefficient is increased by 1, n times n minus 1 factorial, but then since you added this one, you have to subtract it, so it becomes negative n plus 1, so n minus 1 factorial. All right, so remember that all these are added together. So we have to basically add all these components as a part of this summation together. Repeat this for the next one. You will end up seeing that you have n minus 1, n minus 2 factorial, and then minus n minus 2 factorial. Okay, so if we do ellipsis and then we keep doing this, we get to say 4 times 4 factorial, which for 4 times 4 factorial, you can add to this term additional 4 factorial, which result in this 4 increasing to 5. So you get 5 times 4 factorial. And then minus the additional 4 factorial you added. Do the same thing for this guy. Add the additional 3 factorial, but then that increase this 3 by 1, so you get 4 times 3 factorial, but then you have to subtract that additional 3 factorial you added. And finally, do the same thing for this first component, so add an additional plus 2 factorial, so that increase this coefficient by 1, so 3 times 2 factorial minus 2 factorial that you added. So what's the benefit of doing this? Well, you're adding all these guys together, all these terms. Look what we have. So I'm going to use a set different color. What we have, this is effectively n factorial. n times n minus 5 factorial is n factorial. When we are adding all these components together, so when we are adding all these terms together, <clears throat> you can see we have negative n factorial, but then we have a positive n factorial. So these two cancel out. The same thing. This one here is the n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial is effectively n minus 1 factorial overall, plus sign. But then we have a negative n minus 1 factorial, so again this whole thing cancel out with this. You can keep doing this, and all these terms will keep canceling out 4 factorial with 4 times 3 factorial, which is effectively plus 4 factorial, canceling out with negative 4 factorial. So again, negative 3 factorial canceling out with this guy, which is 3 factorial. So what remains at the end is just this term. Let me use a different color to highlight it. So it is just this last term. And it is also this first term. Which is effectively the n, n plus 1 times n factorial is just n plus 1 factorial. So you can see that after we add everything together, what remains is just one. We have one term which is n plus 1 factorial. And we have one term, which is negative 2 factorial, which is effectively just negative 2. And that is exactly what we were trying to prove. See, on the right-hand side, uh, the left-hand side is a sigma notation, a sigma 
k from 2 to n k times k factorial. The right-hand side of equality is just n plus 1 factorial minus 2, which exactly are the two terms that I showed that remain after we remain uh, intact after we add the summation. I hope that this quick direct proof is helpful in terms of showing how we can use and manipulate properties of numbers and factorial to prove this equality that is also, of course, provable using the mathematical induction.